Welcome to IAS Academy. Prior to the 2023 preliminary exam, we will cover 15 questions daily in a video. I have already uploaded 40 test series last year. So, let's start our session. Our first question is From the decline of Guptas until the rise of Harshavardhana in early 7th century, which of the following kingdoms were holding power in northern India? Options are the Guptas of Magadha, Paramras of Malwa, Ushabhutis of Taneshu, the Mogharis of Kanuj, the Yadavas of Devgiri and the Maitregas of Vallabhi. Select the correct answer using the codes given below. The answer to this question is option B, 1, 3, 4 and 6. That is, the Guptas of Magadha, the Pushyabudis of Taneshwa, the Mogharis of Kanuj, the Maitregas of Vallabhi. From the decline of Guptas until the rise of Harshavardhanas, new ruling dynasties emerged in different parts of northern India. The most prominent ones were the Pushyabudis of Taneshu, Maugharis of Kanuj, Maitrekas of Vallabhi. Here, both 1 and 3 only mentioned in option B. Hence, answer is option B. Question number 2. According to Portuguese writer Nunes, the women in Vijayanagara Empire were expert in which of the following areas? Options are wrestling, astrology, accounting, soothsaying. Select the correct answer using the codes given below. Here, answer to this question is option D, 1, 2, 3 and 4. That is all the above. Women in general occupied a high position in Vijayanagara society and instances of factory party took place in political, social and literary life of country are not rare. Besides being trained in wrestling, handling swords and shields, music and other fine arts, some of them at any rate received a fair amount of literary education. Nunes writes, the king of Vijayanagara has also women who wrestle and others who are astrologers and soothsayers. And he has women who write all the account expenses that are incurred inside the gates and others whose duty it is to write all the affairs of the kingdom and compare their books with those of writers outside. He has women also for music who play instruments and sing. Even the wives of the king are well versed in music. It is said that he has judges as well as valets and watchmen who every night guard the palace and these are women. So her answer to this question is option D, all the above. Question number 3. In the context of colonial India, Shah Nawaz Khan, Prem Kumar Segal and Gurbar Singh Dillon are remembered as options are leaders of Sodeshi and boycott movement, members of Indian government, members of drafting committee, officers of Indian National Army. Here answer to this question is option D, officers of Indian National Army. Prem Kumar Segal, Shah Nawaz Khan and Gurbar Singh Dillon were officers of INA. They underwent court martial by British at Redford in 1945 and were sentenced to death. But instead had to be released following widespread protest and unrest in India. This trial was known as INA trial. So here answer to this question is option D. Question number 4. In the first quarter of 17th century, in which of the following were factories of English East India Company located? Options are Broach, Chicago, Trichnapalli. Select the correct answer using the codes given below. Here answer to this question is option A, one only, that is Broach only. During the first quarter of 17th century, factories were set up by East India Company at Surat, Broach, Ahmedabad, Agra and Masuli Pajam. Hence, only one is correct. So, answer to this question is option A. Question number 5. With reference to history of ancient India, Bhavpudi, Hastimala and Shembeshra were famous. Options are Jain monks, playwrights, temple architects, philosophers. Here, answer to this question is option B. Playwrights. Bhavpudi was an 8th century scholar of India, noted for his plays and poetry written in Sanskrit. Hastimala was 13th century Kannada poet and writer in Hoysala Empire. Shemeshra was an 11th century Sanskrit poet from Kashmir in India. So, here answer to this question is option B. Question number 6. With reference to the water on the planet Earth, consider the following statements. Statement number 1. The amount of water in rivers and lakes is more than the amount of groundwater. That is incorrect. Statement number 2. The amount of water in polar ice caps and glaciers is more than the amount of groundwater. That is correct. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? The answer to this question is option B. Statement 2 only is correct. Fresh water on the surface of earth contributes less than 3% and remaining 97% constitute saline water. In that, 
69% of freshwater resides in polar ice caps and in glaciers. So, statement 1 is incorrect. Of the total freshwater, 69% resides in glaciers, 30% resides in underground and less than 1% is located in lakes, rivers and swamps. Thus, this amount of water in rivers and lakes is less than the amount of groundwater. Hence, statement 2 is correct. Of the total freshwater, 69% resides in glaciers and 30% resides in underground. So, polar ice caps and glaciers has more water than underground water. So, here answer to this question is option B. Question number 7. Which one of the following is a filter feeder? Options are catfish, octopus, oyster, pelican. Here answer to this question is option C, oyster. Oysters are natural filters. They capture the particles of size as small as 4 micrometers on their gills. Their gills act as filter which is self-cleaning. Generally, water gets filtered by something which is static so that water can easily pass through them and get filtered. Pelicans, catfish and octopus are large organisms. Oysters are small organisms found cemented to rocks or other hard substrates. So, her answer to this question is option C, oyster. Question number 8. With reference to India, Didwana Kachaman, Sargul and Khatu are the names of Options are glaciers, mangroves areas, Ramsar sites, saline lakes. The answer to this question is option D, saline lakes. Didwana, Kuchaman, Sargol and Khadu are saline lakes of Rajasthan. Didwana is a town in Nagur district of Rajasthan. It has a famous Didwana saltwater lake of Rajasthan. Kachaman lake is located in Nagur district of Rajasthan. So her answer to this question is option D. Question number 9. Consider the following kinds of organisms. Copepods, cyanobacteria, diatoms, foraminifera. Which of the above are primary producers in the food chains of ocean? Here answer to this question is option B, 2 and 3. That is, primary producers are the organisms who synthesize their own food using photosynthesis or chemosynthesis. Copepods are a group of small crustaceans found in nearly every freshwater and in saltwater habitat. They are major primary consumers in the world ocean. Copepods are generally herbivorous, feeding only on plant plankton, which they filter from the water. Cyanobacteria, also called blue-green algae, are microscopic organisms found naturally in all types of water. These organisms are primary producers who use sunlight to make their own food. Diatoms are photosynthesizing algae. They are found in almost every aquatic environment, including freshwater and marine waters. They are primary producers in oceanic food chain. Foraminifera are single cell organisms that are found in most marine environments. Foraminifera are heterotrophic organisms which consume smaller organisms and organic matter. So, her answer to this question is option B, 2 and 3. Question number 10. Constitutional government means options are a representative government of a nation with federal structure, a government whose head enjoys nominal powers, a government whose head enjoys real powers, a government limited by the terms of constitution. The answer to this question is option D. A government limited by the terms of constitution. Constitutional government means a limited government. The constitution seeks to regulate political power. The core element of constitutional government is the existence of rule of law or set of basic laws that by both public office holders and all members of society within a given territory. So here answer to this question is option D. Question number 11. Consider the following statements in respect to Bharatna and Padma Awards. Statement number 1. Bharatna and Padma Awards are titles under Article 18 sub clause 1 of the Constitution of India. That is incorrect. Statement number 2. Padma Awards which were instituted in the year 1954 were suspended only once. That is also incorrect. Statement number 3. Number of Bharatna Award is restricted to a maximum of 5 in particular year. That is also incorrect. Which of the above statements are not correct? The answer to this question is option D. All the statements are incorrect. So, option D, 1, 2, 3 is the right answer. These awards do not amount to titles within the meaning of Article 18 that prohibits only hereditary titles of nobility. Therefore, they are not violation of Article 18 as the theory of equality does not mandate that merit should not be recognized. Hence, statement 1 is incorrect. Padma Awards which were instituted in the year 1954 is announced every year on the occasion of Republic Day except for brief interruptions 
during the years 1978, 1979 and 1993 to 1997. It is suspended many times. Hence, statement 2 is incorrect. The number of Bharat Ratna awards is restricted to a maximum of 3 in a particular year. Hence, statement 3 is also incorrect. So, her answer to this question is option D. Question number 12. With reference to India, consider the following statements. Statement number 1. Judicial custody means an accused is in the custody of the concerned magistrate and such accused is locked up in police station, not in jail. That is incorrect. Statement number 2. During judicial custody, the police officer in charge of the case is not allowed to interrogate the suspect without the approval of the court. That is correct. Which of the statement given above is oral correct? Here answer to this question is option B. Statement 2 only is correct. In police custody, the accused is lodged in a police station lockup. While in a judicial custody, it is the jail. Hence statement 1 is incorrect. When a person taken into custody, the CRPC kicks in and they were produced before a magistrate within 24 hours of the arrest. During judicial custody, the police officer in charge of case is not allowed to interrogate the suspect. However, the court may allow the interrogations to be conducted if it finds the interrogation being necessary under the fact produced before the court. Hence, statement 2 is correct. So, her answer to this question is option B. Statement 2 only is correct. Question number 13. The money multiplier in an economy increases with which one of the following? Option A, increase in CRR in the bank, increase in SLR in the bank, increase in banking habit of the people, increase in population of the country. Here, answer to this question is option C, increase in banking habit of people. The multiplier effect is an economic term referring to the proportional amount of increase or decrease of final income that results from injection or withdrawal of capital. Increase in CRR, SLR and population of the country will not increase money multiplier. Increase in banking habit of the people can lead to increase in money multiplier in an economy. When a customer makes a deposit into a short term deposit account, the banking institution can lend to 1 minus the reserve requirement to someone else, while the original depositor maintains ownership of their initial deposit. The fund created through lending are generated based on those funds. If a second borrower subsequently deposits, Funds received from lending institution, this raises value of money supply even though no additional physical currency actually exists to support the new amount. So, her answer to this question is option C, increase in banking habit of the people. Question number 14, with reference to urban cooperative banks in India, consider the following. Statement number 1, they are supervised and regulated by local boards set up by state governments. That is incorrect. Statement number 2, they can issue equity shares and preference shares. That is correct. Statement number 3, they were brought under purview of Banking Regulation Act 1949 through an amendment in 1966. That is correct. Which of the statement given above is or are correct? Here answer to this question is option B. Statement 2 and 3 are correct. Statement 1 is incorrect. The administrative functions of UCBs only comes under state government. The Urban Bank Department of RBI is vested with the responsibility of regulating and supervising of primary urban cooperative banks, which are popularly known as UCBs. Statement 2 is correct. With the prior approval of RBI, a cooperative bank can issue equity shares, preference shares or special shares. Statement 3 is also correct. It's a factual statement. Large cooperative banks with paid up share, capital, and reserve of RS1 lakh were brought under the purview of Banking Regulation Act 1949 through an amendment in 1966. So, statement 2 and 3 are correct. The answer is option B. Question number 15. Indian government bond yields are influenced by options are action of United States Federal Reserve, action of RBI, inflation and short term interest rates. Select the correct answer using the codes given below. Here answer to this question is option D. 1, 2 and 3 are correct. Statement 1 is correct. Hiking interest rates in the US by United States Federal Reserve leads not only to an outflow fund from equities into the US Treasury bonds but also to an outflow fund from emerging economies to the US. Thus, it impacts Indian government bond yields in negative manner. Statement 2 is correct. The multifaceted roles played by RBI in the payment system, monetary policy, financial stability policy, policy coordination with the treasury gives it the operational ability to influence government bonds nominal yields. Statement 3 is also correct. 
ഷോർട്ട് ടൈം ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് റേറ്റ്സ് ആൻഡ് പേസ് ഓഫ് ഇൻഫ്ലേഷൻ ആർ ദ കീ ഡ്രൈവേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് റേറ്റ്സ് ഓൺ ഗവൺമെന്റ് ബോണ്ട്സ് സോ ഇന്ത്യൻ ഗവൺമെന്റ് ബോണ്ട് യീൽസ് ആർ ഇൻഫ്ലുവൻസ്ഡ് ബൈ ദ മോണിറ്ററി പോളിസീസ് ഓഫ് ആർ ബി ഐ ദ കോഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് റേറ്റ്സ് ദ ഫിസിക്കൽ പൊസിഷൻ ഓഫ് ഗവൺമെന്റ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ബോറോവിംഗ് പ്രോഗ്രാം ഗ്ലോബൽ മാർക്കറ്റ്സ് എക്കോണമി ആൻഡ് ഇൻഫ്ലേഷൻസ് ഹെൻസ് ഓൾ ദീസ് ഫാക്ടേഴ്സ് ക്യാൻ ഇൻഫ്ലുവൻസ് ഇന്ത്യൻ ഗവൺമെന്റ് ബോണ്ട് യീൽ ഹിയർ ആൻസർ ടു ദിസ് ക്വസ്റ്റൻ ഇസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ ഡി വൺ ടു ത്രീ ആർ കറക്റ്റ് So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. We will continue with the next result tomorrow.